Welcome back to Just Ladies, and yes, I am with Mudoni the Drum Queen, and I am Angie Mlai. And um, before the break, we were talking about who your dream collabo would be, and that is amazing, and we're going to call you back for that. Thank but you. now, let's go to the other thing that you are known for. Mm. If people don't know you, you for your music, they know you for the event that they have most definitely graced, and that <laughs> is the Blankets and Wine. Mm. Where did it all start? Um... So when I used to do the shows in 2007, 2008, yes. uh, we were doing them in this club in Westlands and it was small and it was on a Friday night and we had so many problems. Um, we always had to start late because people were always in traffic. Yeah. If it was raining, people wouldn't turn up. When they'd get there, the venue was too small. We'd have problems with the venue owner sometimes. would refuse to make the payments in the way that we agreed. Yeah. Um, there was a set of circumstances yeah. that was just not... Yeah. And we couldn't grow. We couldn't grow the audience because where will people sit? Yeah. Like where will, when they come to watch you, where will well, they sit? Or yeah. How will they hear you? Where will they interact? It was very difficult. Mm -hmm. And um, and I was having a conversation with some friends of mine because I was like, I'm done. So we'd quit the gig. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to quit music. I just wanted to quit the circumstances. Yeah. And so my thought was that I should go find a bigger club mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, my friend, Mukula, uh, was like, but if you move to a club it's only a matter of time before you have exactly the same problem because what are you going to do about nairobi friday traffic yeah or what are you going to <laughs> do about a club owner who decides that he's not going to give you your money your money yeah and um and so it was me my friend and and rachel and then we're just brainstorming and i remember the idea was that you know everything that you're doing uh are we in agreement that everything that you're doing is not working mm -hmm. and i say yes yeah, not working I can't grow the numbers. I can't make the money meet, mm. uh, the ends meet. I, it's just not. It's working. just not working. Yeah. Um, so okay, write all the circumstances and do the opposite. Great. And so instead of doing it by night, do it by day. Instead of doing it somewhere near and convenient, do it somewhere far <laughs> and deliberate. <laughs> you mm. know, instead of doing this thing, uh, you know, for guys mm. after work, do yeah. it for anybody who wants to come, including if they have their children. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was the opposite, direct opposite. Just of do everything, everything different, yeah. right? And um, yeah, the, at the club, they never let you bring your own drinks. Tell people <laughs> to bring their own drinks. Just mm -hmm. do ev everything you do, everything that's just like everywhere you're stuck. Yeah. Good. Everything, like everything that, even everything that you think is working, just mm -hmm. the opposite. It's a gig for yourself. Do a gig for yourself and others. Mm -hmm. And that's how blankets. And work. really, it was just like this. And I, I think I was desperate enough and 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 willing to yeah. try because you know doing the same yeah. thing over and over yeah. uh, expecting different results is mm -hmm. insanity and when did you start with blankets so we start blankets in 2008 november mm. how was the turnout the first time uh, 120 people no. and i was so fantastically pleased with that <laughs> like yes 120 people came and paid us a thousand shillings this is wonderful mm -hmm. we had a rickety stage that was even like moving as we were performing but it was all good yeah um then the second one we had 108 people and i remember that day we were competing with six different events so i was mm. like ah we're okay yeah so i took out january of 2009 just to dream and to write and to yeah call it into being really and i think maybe i slept a total of 10 hours that month. Mm -hmm. I, just, I was lost in the dreams and like writing and the plans and mm -hmm. what I wanted to look like, which artists I want to collaborate, mm -hmm. how I want to go into East Africa, how mm -hmm. I want to bring Africa into Kenya and mm -hmm. all these really big, lofty, incredible dreams. And I like made lineups for the whole like two years in a row. And yeah. it was crazy. It was really crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, and then uh, we resumed in February. And I remember, I think in March, uh, we had 300 tickets on sale and the girl who was at the document told me, yo, we have a problem, we don't have tickets. So I thought that she meant I forgot to bring the ticket books so and she's like, no, we've sold out. Wow. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so what's the biggest uh, crowd you've ever had to handle with blankets and wine? Mm, I think that would be 2014 January when we did the two-day festival and mm -hmm. we had about 6,000 something people yeah. yeah through the doors that was pretty intense okay. um but it was also fun it was over two days and it was 
it was really it was a really good and what you, what made you change the principle of it because everyone knows it's always the fast sunday of every month yeah so what made you change so the principle because uh, 2014 we did the two day because we turned um 50 that was 50 events in five years wow. kenya's 50th anniversary wow. we just wanted to make something special and we were willing and open to trying the idea of a festival and mm -hmm. Uh, for us, the growth, because again, I feel like with Blanks and Wine, because you know, we played all the Kenyan artists we wanted to play, we mm. played them twice, we played them three times. We're like, okay, we need a variety, yeah, to change this up a bit. Mm -hmm. So, we brought in artists from different places of Africa, and then yeah. we brought all of the ones that we imagined. We even brought them twice, you know, it's <laughs> like, okay, this is, yeah, yeah, this is not interesting to me anymore. So, no. you know, just when you just like, this is not interesting, this is not interesting. Mm -hmm. So, um, we want to scale. Mm -hmm. One, because it's going to be a little bit more interesting for us. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be interesting for the audience. But then also because I believe, at least for me, um, I'm interested in small, hyper specific, well curated experiences mm -hmm. or large, mm -hmm. very well curated, <laughs> over the top experiences. So mm -hmm. For me, it's, either, it's, it's small or big. Yeah. The intermediary is not, it's not very, it when you're too small for, you. for big, but too big for small. It's a weird place to be. It's a bad business model and mm -hmm. it just breeds boredom. Mm -hmm. So we did the two-day festival, which is really the direction that we want to go with Blankets, which is to be able to do um, festivals, big, large-scale experiences. Yeah. Um, I just have one question. <laughs> <laughs> How do you manage doing all this? Very things? poorly. Because you're recording, you're <laughs> very well poorly. Here you were very there. poorly. Girl, you've taken us all over. Yeah. Here. <laughs> very poorly. So, very poorly. How is it? Do, do Impossible. You, how do you schedule yourself? Impossible. I'm even, um, thank you for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's, yeah. A, it's a it's a little intense. It's, yeah, I can it's imagine. Truly intense. Um, mm -hmm. but it's the life I desire. So, yeah. I drop balls all the time. Mm -hmm. If you see me succeeding at one thing, just know I'm feeling at nine. <laughs> um, Which is pretty But we normal. keep it moving because this is what I want. I, I'm truly an African citizen. I truly want to be at home anywhere I go in Africa. Mm -hmm. I feel like creativity, the art space just gives me access to anywhere in Africa. Yeah. If I can set up my own operation, even better. Yeah. So then I can be the boss of me wherever I go. So... Mm -hmm. We see. <laughs> okay. If you were to change one thing in the music industry, what would it be? Mm, I'd say space. It's systemic because it's not the industry. Mm -hmm. It's also the people. Mm -hmm. You want to be fans. You're fans. You're fans. You're an MDQ fan, but you don't want to buy the album. Yes. That's, actually, that's the that's But the you problem. also want to come for the concert, but you want a free ticket. <laughs> But me, I had to shoot a video which cost me several hundred thousands and I had to pay for the studio and I have to pay my rent. Yeah. But you don't want to contribute to that process. But you love me. <laughs> I think there's a, there's a real disconnect there. Yeah. I think the other disconnect also is just like, they, it, it, there can be more. Yeah. There are other ways to do these things. Mm -hmm. I wish that we would be more willing to engage with different ideas. Just what? open your mind a little. It's... You don't have, like, you don't eat ugali every day. Yes. And even that ugali, you can put spices in it. Like, just try. Well, just well. try. The pilau spices, just one day, just try. How, How is that? It it's, it's lovely, actually. It tastes You've very different. You've done it before? Yeah, of course. Then. I've done it. Like, just put some spices, a little salt. One day, when it's halfway cooked, put it in the oven, just mm. see how it bakes. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Can it be a pie? Just try. Because mm. you were, you've eaten ugali the way it is every day yeah. of your life since you were born. So why not change it up? See, so just try. And then if you don't like it, <laughs> see, you can just revert to the normal. Yes. So the fear of trying, this is the thing that I would change, not just about the music system, but about Kenyans. Mm -hmm. The fear to try something different. Mm -hmm. We do things when we've been told they're cool. I have so many people like, no, when is blankets coming? I'm like, it's been on six years. Why didn't you come? What were you waiting for? <laughs> yeah. And it's nothing. It's just like the hype, the moment, uh, mm. nothing. There's no real answer. There's mm. no real answer. Yeah. Try. I think that's the thing I would change about us. us. Try, try. Okay. Just try. <laughs> just try. Okay. I just want you, I want you to answer one question mm. and you see your parting shot. Okay. One question is, what do you think Kenyans don't embrace Kenyans? Because you can find 
a Nigerian will strive here, like a, a musician from there, he'll strive here, but you find that you are loved maybe with Tanzanians or Ugandans, yeah. but Kenyans themselves, they'll be like, who's Madoni? Mm. You know, yeah. why, why do you think we have mm. that mentality and mm. why don't we buy mm. our music? Uh, this is a this hard one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why we don't love each other. Yeah. I don't know why we don't love ourselves. Mm. I don't know. Uh, because I get that all the time. Yeah. You know, we... I don't know. Maybe it's 8 for 4. Maybe it's a Nyaya system. Maybe mm. it's the man eat man system that we yeah. have in Kenya. We are, we are, we are very... Um... But then that's not also categorically true because mm -hmm. Kenyans love Jaguar. Yeah, this right. Kenyans love all this gospel artists. Saudi so they do. Yes, right. So. so maybe it's not true that they that we don't love each other. Maybe it's the way we present ourselves, ourselves to, to each, each other. other that makes yeah. us, you know, a little standoffish. Yes. Okay. Right? Um, parting shot. Try. <laughs> I feel like uh, my parting shot would be. Um, your life is your experiment. The single thing that you're guaranteed is that it's going to end. There is no. You can't. This is non-negotiable. It's mm. ending. The minute you were born, the timer was started. Then the timer counts down. It doesn't yes. count up. So you're going to die. For sure, for sure, for sure. And you're <laughs> sure that you won't know when you're going to die. So you might as well live when you're here, right? And yep. if you're going to live, you might as well, you might as well do a good job yeah. of living your life. Yours, your authentic ideas. Just try it. Try be yourself. Try do you. See how, how much fun it can be to be yourself. And, and then we just see. One thing I just want to tell you before I close the show, <laughs> you are deep. Girl, you are really deep. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Just ladies, I was your host, Angie Mland. We had Mudoni with us and we are so grateful. We, we got to know her better. And she's really deep. So go to our social media. On Facebook, it's Just Ladies. Twitter, Just Ladies. And of course, Instagram is Just Ladies underscore TVC. Go and we'll see our pictures we're going to take in for after the show. And also, if you want to watch this again, go to our YouTube channel, which is TV Cosmopolitan Kenya. And thank you so much. Have a good night.